Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And this video is part of the three very important videos, most likely the most important videos of your life. Share them all, all videos of today. Share them with all your friends, your families, with anybody that you want to have in the army of the Lord, that you want to save, that you want to make harvest ready. Now let us come to the final video. And this is titled, Left Behind, The Door is Closing. I, when I had this vision this morning, brothers and sisters from the Lord, at the end of it, he showed me that that door that is for me already behind me was starting to close. It was starting to close slowly. The Lord said, we are in the final days, no more than 40 days. The doors is starting to close. Now when the door starts to close, you need to rush through it, to be part of it, to be positioned right now. This is the time when the Lord is positioning his warriors and his harvest workers at the line of battle. For the upcoming Christmas day when our commander in chief will come to give us a command to charge the enemy and to enter into the nations and to walk the earth to and fro to proclaim that the kingdom has come. The kingdom of God has come and we are in the starting period now of the dress rehearsal of the Millennium Kingdom. The Kingdom era is here and we are called into duty as the warriors of Christ, as the warriors of the Kingdom of Heaven and as the harvest workers, as the forerunners who will prepare the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for His second coming, for His way towards Jerusalem where he will establish a physical kingdom on earth, where he will sit as king of kings and lords of lords. Now when I saw the door closing, brothers and sisters, then the Lord showed me what will happen to the people who will remain on the other side when the door is closed. Will the door open again? The Lord said, no. This is the final choosing now. Either you are a chosen vessel or you will be left behind. But what does it really mean to be left behind? Not to be harvest ready, not to be a warrior in the army of the Lord. The Lord showed it to me. He showed to me that a great number of people who call themselves Christians will be left behind in the world. And they will stand like the rest of the world in perplexity on the day of the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On the Christmas day, on the day when the escape of the innocent, the children will be removed. They will all stand in perplexity. Some of them will then suddenly realize, oh, there was something I remember. There were videos, there were messages from the Lord all over the place. And he told us to go through a door. So they will then rush to that door. But they will find it, as in this image, locked and secured. They will knock on that door, as the desperate people have knocked on the doors of the Ark of Noah when the flood were coming. They will knock on this door. And then a voice from inside of this door will come and tell you, I do not know you. And this door will not open because they missed their day of visitation, because they missed the call. They were not obeying to the, <coughs> to the voice of the Father. They were not going through that door and the door will be locked. They will miss it. As it was with the five foolish virgins, so it will be with many Christians nowadays. 
who will say, oh, these messages are just messages. Oh, this Michael is just talking about himself. Oh, triple grace is nothing important. Oh, the messages from the Lord I can just disregard. It is not important to be ready. It is not important to stand in the army of the Lord. It is not important to do kingdom work. I am saved. I don't have to do anything. They will find themselves left behind in the world. They will find themselves outside of the arcs. They will find themselves outside of protection. They will be into the open. They will receive the full fury and wrath of God and of the Lamb and of the flood that is coming. Yes, this flood will not destroy the earth anymore because God has made a promise. Of course not. But the evil flood will come and it will take all the people away who are not ready, who were not walking through the door, who were not returning into the open arms of the Father, into his places of safety and refuge. They will stand in front of such a door like this in the image. And they will knock and they will cry and they will wail and they will pray and they will fall on their knees. But from inside only a voice will come and say, I do not know you because you have not obeyed the voice of the Father. You have not listened to the voices that have come forth for such a time as this. You were not harvesting ready. You were not willing to step forward into the kingdom or into kingdom work. But you were deceived by what the churches are telling you that once saved, always saved. You were deceived by people who are telling you no need just remain in our churches and everything will be well and all will be returned to normal you will be this deceived brothers and sisters and many are already deceived they will be left behind and then the lord showed me that a fierce man will come up somebody who will control the whole earth and all the poor christians outside of that locked door will be subjected to him and they will only have a choice to make either to stand with their faith and their salvation and then be beheaded or to follow that fierce man the new pharaoh the antichrist that will come if you do not walk through that door if you do not stand with the kingdom right now then you will belong to the world and when you belong to the world then you will be subjected to the Antichrist and you will either die for your faith or you will end in the lake of fire when you give up your faith. Brothers and sisters, you have a choice. There is now still time to choose life over death. There is now still time to walk through an open door, a door that is slowly closing. 40 days, very little time. I have given you everything what you need. Everything what the Lord has shown me, I have presented to you. I have given you a step-by-step -step guide. I have given you the opportunity. I have prepared everything according to the will of the Father, that you can step forward, that you can become harvest ready, and that you can stand with the kingdom. Now it is up to you, because you have a free will. You can choose either to be left behind or to walk through that door that is slowly closing. That's the reason why it is so important to spread these videos of today with everybody. So that everybody has a chance. Then another thing that the Lord showed me in that vision was for whom is then the harvest if not for the people who are left behind? But the Lord said, the harvest is for the people who have not heard my call to the nation. The harvest is for the lost sheep who have not heard about all the messages that I'm bringing forward. But the harvest is not for the people who have refused to heed my call to the nation, who have ref refused to obey my voice, and who have not made themselves ready, and who were not willing to step for the kingdom. These are not my lost sheep. These are my Christians who knew 
They have an understanding, they are spiritually matured, they have read the Bible, they know what will happen if they are in disobedience to the kingdom. But they still rebelled, they still said no to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, and so they will not be part of the harvest, but will be left behind in the world, subjected to the Antichrist and his minion. You had a choice, you choose not to listen, you choose not to follow, you choose not to make yourself ready, so you will find yourself on the other side of the door when it's closed and locked. Like many who mocked and scoffed Noah at his time, found themselves outside of the ark when the waters were rising. And now the evil flood has already started in your capital. And it will grow more and more and more and more. Until it will reach your neck. And you can hardly breathe anymore, but it will still rise. And you will knock on that door and cry and shout. But the door will be locked as it was in Noah's time. The door will be locked. You still have time to walk through and closing door to an opening door, a door that is still there where you can still run through towards the battle line, towards the army of the Lord, to stand with him. But the time is short, no more than 40 days. Christmas day can be any time. So do not wait for 40 days. Do not wait even for 30 days or for 20 days, but act right now. Use this step-by-step -step guide for yourself your family, your friends, your children, everybody, your, your friends, believers, show them everywhere, in your churches, all over the place, and become ready. This time, the final days, are for the positioning of the warriors in the army of the Lord. The path of your safety, of your refuge, will be closing quickly. The ark doors will be shut very quickly. Are you really willing to, to risk to stand outside? Can you truly afford to be left behind in the world? And why? Only because you do not want to give up your luxuries. You do not want to give up your old ways. You do not want to empty yourself. Or because you are mocking and scoffing Triple Grace and Michael and all the other people who are bringing the messages forth? Do you really want to risk that and do you can really afford this? Can you afford it not to be on the other side of the door in the ark? Can you afford it not to be covered by the Lord? Now you are relying on the on the voices of your church leaders, on the voices of your religious leaders who are men, who are telling you no need to step forward for the kingdom. But on the other side, with us, Triple Grace and many other voices, you will be called into the kingdom, doing kingdom work, bringing forth fruit and a great harvest. And there the Lord will protect you. But you need to do the first step. You need to walk through that door that is slowly closing. The final days are upon us. Ask yourself the question. Can you afford not to be in the ark? Can you afford not to be on the other side of the door? Can you afford to remain in the world? And taking your shot with a pharaoh. Somebody so sinister that the world has never seen. Somebody ten times worse than Hitler was. Somebody who will kill without mercy. Somebody who will chop off your head in a twinkling of an eye. The negative side of the duality has come forth in your capital. You have seen it by yourself. How quickly the tides can turn and how quickly the enemy can take control of the world. Therefore, come out of the world, out of Babylon, out of the churches, and step through that door before the door is closed 
and it will be locked and secured. Because when you then come and the flood is rising and then you will step through the door and you will knock on it, you will only hear, I do not know you. That door will not open again. You will have missed the opportunity and you will be left behind. Brothers and sisters, I pray that I will find you all standing with me on the battle line of the Lord, on the other side of the door, in the ark, in the places of refuge and safety, so that we can stand there in unity, have all in common, everything in one accord, that we share our resources, that we can be called true sons and daughters of the Most High. The positioning is starting right now. The question is, are you standing with the kingdom of God or are you still remaining in the world, Babylon and the churches? The Lord is ready to move you, but you have to give him permission. We have a downloadable PDF as step-by-step -step guide for you to make yourself, your family, your friends and everybody that you wish to harvest ready and be positioned as a powerful warrior on the battle line in the army of the Lord. Do not be left behind. The Lord showed me clearly it will be great suffering as it was in the time of Noah, for the people who try to storm the ark, they will not make it. If you try to storm that gate towards the kingdom, when the time is not there anymore, that door will not open and you will not make it. The water will rise and rise until the evil flood will take you away. Do not let this happen. We are in the final days of positioning now. Stand with us. Walk with us. Fight with us. Take the battle to the gate with us. Let us charge the enemy together. You have free will. Today, the Lord, our true Father, is calling you into his kingdom. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.